Speaker Collectors. This is Brian Note of Toys TV. Uh, this is Speaker Talk episode 70, 70. So this time we bring you Pew Pew Gun from Taiwan. This is not the first time we show their product, but this is the first time we show this special edition of, you know, Once It Kill Yo Guai Collection Series, and this is Shun. Actually, this this uh, uh, package is, uh, I think it's a special edition because uh, they sell the armory accessory in a single pack and this one also include the figures and um, yeah I'm not expert on, on the products but you know this is a redesigned one and uh, this, is, this is using their robotic body and uh, in this video and program we will show you more details of this wonderful terrific sci-fi figures <music> talking about this Pew Pew Gun new release uh, for myself that this is the first time I play with this series of figures so intensively right and uh, yeah I all see the advantages and strengthness of this series and the engineering but at the same time I find some you know some more spaces or some more points they can improve in the future but anyway I think uh, this would be a very cool looking design right and I think for you sci-fi lover you would like that because it's already bring you some imaginative uh, or some image or some sci-fi soldiers we are longing for a while maybe a years we have seen so many wonderful design and concepts from games TV movies or from you know very talented um, designers all over the world and this time, people can have test their own design. They are uh, they accumulate uh, many many special elements of this sci-fi action figures. So you can see that this this figure Shen, they have this helmet, and this is the first thing I have to complain. And you can see that right now you can see the light. You can see the light, right? Ooh, ooh. We can see the light here. Yeah, but when we have put the helmet on it is very difficult to, to see a LED light inside so um, it would be a little bit uh, uh, wasteful uh, if we if we cannot uh, have the helmet on and have the LED so if we want to see the LED we have to remove the remove the helmet but anyway the design is for me is very cool and um, you can see I make a very good posi po posture of this you know holding a light machine gun you know whoa yeah I personally love the pose yeah because I made the pose and uh, for the accessories lots of accessories this is I don't know but anyway kind of modern warfare like a rocket, lo rocket launcher okay and for spare hands four spare hands and they are all you know the hands are obstructed uh, but, but with some articulation oh it's good you see this one I first think that this is you know uh, completely scrupted not articulated not articulated hands but it is interesting yeah This finger, you see, there's a joint here, so the finger can be articulated. Oh, a very tiny but a very heartful design. Okay, PPL gun, yeah, you know, the, the two main uh, person PPL of the PPL gun is, you know, I, I know that they make their own graphic design themselves they make the designs and they do the 3ds it's two young men very young and handsome men yeah so I think the design is you know is at the very 
top level for an original design you know from nothing to a 2G graphic and to 3D and to make it to a real life product it's not easy uh, I think they already as I know they already take, taken two years to make it happen for the series but something we really don't know how many times they have spent for planning development maybe fundraising etc etc so congratulations Pew Pew Gun you guys are lovely young people to change your dream congratulations you make it come true now yeah certainly there's some some more things to be improved on the product for example the articulations of you know the the tightness of the articulations um, for the joints of the arms etc uh, etc et it's not it's not so tight in some case uh, I mean in some case but uh, this pair of hands is articulated fingers with articulated fingers is very good um, the paint jobs are uh, I think is very satisfying and the accessory there's a lot of accessories uh, some people will complain the you know the articulation here at the on the waist it's easier to be you know to be separate I don't want to do it here you know I don't, I, I don't want to make things bad okay but um, when we move it yeah we can move it have good articulation I put out here should be a little bit careful because but actually overall performance is good you know because they are all robotic you know uh, some articulation is inside but uh, it looks like a real robot that means we can we cannot cover the articulation joints here and uh, so you know that if you have one piece of pill gun you understand the difficulty to make a very strong body skeleton at the same time to make it look like a real robot so I think they already, they already did a very good job yeah and this make it more you know cool look like in a windy area like a desert and he shoot one bullet to the enemy BAM BAM Right, very cool. This is original design, not from movie, not from comic. It's a wonderful design, wonderful product. Yeah, there's so many things they have to be improved. The articulations, the paint jobs can be a bit like to a little bit better. And uh, but the design, the scale, you know, the outlook, the concept is what to say. I love them. And uh, the position of this frag, frag stand here can be changed to a more reasonable place. This is not on the right position, you know. When I put, you know, you can see the figures already dance outside of the base, right? So, this is not very the best position to make it. Yeah, but my post help. <laughs> see? Whoa. So cool. They are improving with the quality, design, engineering. Yeah, it's a cool series because this is original design. So, give them applause and give them a chance and give them your support. That means your money. Good job, Pew Pew Gun. 100% original design from Taiwan yeah I think they spend much much effort on this we can see the LED light here but most of the time we cannot see so that is one of the weakness yeah the costume the accessory I have no complaint you know this is real fabric costume not 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 plastic and actually all the armors are has to be installed on the skeleton so when we have it uh, we have to install 
the armor here, armor here, armor here, armor here. Yeah, I will show you the pictures in this video uh, to show how it looks like when they come, 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 come from the factories. When they open the box, you see the skeletons, you see the helmet, but all armors, most of the armors are separate. It's good to show all the accessory together, and at the same time, you need some time. There is the instruction sheet you can follow. So I think they do a good job on that. And you see the packaging. Yeah, very cool. And they use Chinese. It's good to for them to retain some, you know, Chinese, you know, name, writings, words, or custom. Some, some Chinese artist or Chinese designer. And this box is so huge. Wow. Wow. Mm. So they all together three layer. So if you have your budget, I would recommend this. But don't expect a very tight joints and uh, you know the armors uh, ha have have a chance to drop when you play with but this is not the problem because uh, they are made of PVC and sometimes it is not so tight but these are not too loose. I mean you don't have to use some you know or some glue, uh, no need but if you have some certain requirement when you make a you know exaggerated pos posture you might need. Okay, anyway, it is very... Yeah, for myself, it's good. And what do you expect for more? Okay, thanks for watching Figure Talk of Toy TV. This is Rhino, and hope you enjoy this. And this is Pew Pew Gun from Taiwan. 1-6 scale Yo Guai Shen exclusive prank. Bye-bye.